Oh, hey there. Oh, I'm Adam from Bridge Winners. And I'm Bajir from Sky Bridge Club. And this is one of us knows how to play bridge. So <laughs> no. Bajir, I have a great hand for you. This is one that I was uh, using in a class the other day. Oh, and cool. I thought it was a, a really instructive hand. So I wanted to show it to you and see how you did with it. Oh, thank you. So you're playing in six no trump. Six no trump. Oh, I like these hands. The opponents haven't bid, and you get the jack of spades lead. So walk me through how you're thinking about this hand. Mm. The challenge, fun six new trumps hand. Yeah. This is a challenging one. Okay. All right. First things first, uh, the club suit, nothing we can do about that. We have three sure winners, but um, no more. So let's put the club suit aside. Diamond suit. I guess first, I'm going to count my shore winners. I have there three club winners. I have three for sure uh, spade winners. Yeah. Um, and I'm very interested in what I can do to figure out how uh, the rest of the spades are distributed. And I have two shore diamond winners. So six, seven, eight. And I have two sure club winners. Ten. I need two more. Yep. So you're ten tricks and you need two more. And like you said, clubs, you can't get any more tricks than clubs. Right? We have three tricks. We only have three cards in each hand. So we have spades, we have hearts, and we have diamonds. And mm. each one of those poses a, a possibility for an extra trick. And so we're going to mm. need two of those three to come home for us. Mm. So what do we need to happen in spades to get a, a fourth trick in spades? We need east and west to each have three of them. That's right. We need a 3-3 three, three split. How about and the is, is there any other way if we don't there's get nothing. that 3-3 three, three split? There's nothing. 3-3 three, three, You know, our spot cards aren't high enough. Mm. We need a 3-3 three, three split. What about the heart suit? Oh, gosh. Heart suit. Is it the same thing? We need a 3-3 three, three split and we need to lose? Yes. We need a 3-3 three, three split, but to even take advantage of that, we need to lose a heart at some mm. point. Okay. And then in the diamond suit, we can always pick up another trick if we guess correctly where the queen of diamonds is, right? This is what we call a two-way finesse. If we think East has... The queen of diamonds, we lead low to the jack and take the finesse that way. If we think West has it, we play oh, low to the hand and finesse that way. Oh, that diamond suit is the one that's the trickiest. But gosh, it, right, because we this is a finesse that we can't afford to lose. We have to figure out which way to finesse it. Right. But you know, the bad thing is that you know, we always could have gotten it right. So mm -hmm. If we get it wrong, we can feel especially bad. You know, a simple finesse, there's only <laughs> one way to do it, and if it works, it works. But this one, you know, you always could have gotten it right. When hey, you have two it's way called a, du a double finesse. Is this a, a double way. finesse? Two-way finesse. A two-way two finesse. finesse is when you're finessing the same way twice. You have ace, jack, ten, uh -huh. or ace, uh -huh. jack, nine. Here, you could do it either way. It's a two-way finesse. Two-way finesse. Have a two-way finesse like this. Mm. You always want to leave it for as late in the hand as you can so that you have as much information as you can to turn your total guess into an educated guess, right? You might be able to glean some information from the rest of the hand. Maybe it's high card information. Maybe it's distributional information. But any little piece of information could be enough to – tip the odds one way or the other. That's so helpful. With a two-way finesse, you want to wait as long as possible to get as much information as possible yep. so that you can know which way to go. Yeah. So here's what we need to happen on this hand. We have a 3-3 three, three spade split that's possible, a 3-3 three, three heart split, and then guessing the diamonds. And we need two of those to work, right? So either we need both suits to be 3-3 three, three, or we need one suit, three, three, and then we guess the diamonds correctly. So the question is, what do we do first? 
<laughs> All right, well, between the spades and the hearts, what I would probably do, and I'm guessing it's the wrong thing to do, would be to get one spade winner just to see how it breaks. But I also feel like we want to play towards the hearts, maybe even to do our losing heart as soon as possible. But does that lock us into relying on the fourth heart winner? No, it doesn't. The right way to play this hand is to start by ducking a heart, by playing a low heart from both hands and just giving up a trick in the heart suit. Right? Mm. One of our mantras in no Trump contracts is lose our losers early. Right? We want to lose a trick that we need to lose while we still have stoppers everywhere. Right? What all of my students did was they played off the ace, king, queen of spades. The spades didn't split. And then they played hearts. And you know what happens? Now you lose a heart and someone's sitting there with a good ten of spades. Right. And they just take it. Right? Right. Right. That by playing that losing heart early, we have to lose a heart trick no matter what. No matter what, right? You do it early when they can't hurt you. Uh, that's the other key takeaway, I think, for me, is playing no trumps, play your sure losers early. Well, not, you're right. You lose the tricks that you need to lose constructively, right? right? You need to lose constructively. In an attempt to set up another trick, right? We're not mm. losing tricks for fun. We're losing <laughs> constructively, right? Mm. Another one of my mantras is that if the spades are 3-3 three, three right now, they're going to be 3-3 three, three at the end of the hand, right? <laughs> There's nothing to be gained from playing ace, king, queen of spades right now. Either they split, great, they were always going to split, or they didn't, and we just set up a winner for them. Right. right. So the first thing we do on this hand is we lose the heart. Now we test. We test if the spades split. We sorry, well, a, 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 and sorry, first we want to win this in Norse hand. Doesn't really matter. Ah, uh, really? Ah, uh, because we're going to lose. It doesn't matter if we're playing north to south to lose the right. heart. You it just doesn't matter. To the six or the six to the deuce. Doesn't matter. We're playing low in both hands. Okay. Doesn't matter. And so we're going to test both the hearts and the spades and see if they split. If they're going to the tires a little bit. If they're both 3-3, three, three, the hand's over. If one of them's 3-3 three, three, and the other one's 4-2, we're going to need to guess the diamonds. And so what information have we now picked up that can help us when we choose how to play the diamonds? Hmm. What information have we already gotten? Yeah. So on this hand, we're going to find out that the hearts are 3-3. Three, three, but west has four spades and east has two spades. Can we play through quickly? Can you show us? No. No. All right. We'll have to – we'll do our best to create a playable link. Yes. Okay. So, so just to talk this through. So let's say – so could we win the first trick with uh, – in Norse hand? Sure. And then, and then we play a losing heart trick. Right. Who wins that? West wins it, and he plays another another spade. He plays another spade. We win that, and we see that they both have at least two spades. Right. Then will we play a, a winning heart trick? Yeah, we'll play the ace king of hearts, and they. And both at that point, it becomes clear to us that the heart split three three. That's right. Yeah. And, and so but while we were playing hearts, if one of them showed out, we would know we would have to abandon the heart plan, and we would have to shift tack it. That's right. So now we play the last spade, and they don't split, right? West has four of them, and East started with only two. And now the common mistake, tell me if, if I understood that correctly, would be, okay, we're playing no trumps. Our best suit slash uh, tied for longest suit are the spades. I'm going to play my three sure spade winners and just hope that the fourth one becomes 
a right. winner because of a 3-3 split. But that's relying on only one way towards right. making a contract. This hand is all about combining our chances, right? We need spades or hearts or diamonds, right? Two out of the three. And so if we do spades first, we put all our eggs in that basket. Mm. There's no need to do that. So oh, we what a cool we hand. The heart. We play the hearts, they're 3-3. Three, three. We play the spades, west has four and east has two. So now we need to guess how to play the diamonds. How do we play the diamonds? What piece of information do we have that's going to be useful in making that decision? We only have one. It's hard for me. Uh, it's hard for me doing this no matter what, but especially not having seen what came out. But what comes out when we see um, playing the spades, when we realize spades aren't split 3-3, three, three, what do we learn? How, how do we learn that? Uh, East is going to throw a diamond. East is going to throw a diamond. Does that mean that East is more likely to have more diamonds and therefore more likely to have yes. the queen of diamonds? Yes. The key is West has four spades, East has two spades, right? We call this the, the principle of empty spaces, right? Vacant spaces. Hmm. West, we know, what do we know about West Ham? He has four spades and three hearts. That's seven hmm. cards and spades and hearts, leaving him six cards in the minors, giving him six cards that could be the queen of diamonds. Mm. East, we know about three hearts and two spades, right? Only five cards. So he has eight cards that could be the queen of diamonds. So he's cool. a favorite cool. to the queen of diamonds, right? So again, there's no guarantees that East is going to have the Queen of Diamonds by any means, right? But we now have a little bit more information, right? We know he's it's, now, our, it's, it's, it, it's our best chance. It's right. our left, last best chance. Slightly more likely, right? He rates to have longer diamonds, and having more diamonds, he's more likely to have any individual diamond, including the Queen. And plus, what else are we going to do? Because... The spades did not split three three. That's right. We have to guess how to play it, and um, you know, mm. that's what we're going to do. So let me show you the whole hand here. Okay. Okay. Uh, there you go. So you can see the whole hand here, and so as mm. you can see, the heart split. The spades do not, um, but the queen of diamonds is over here with East like we thought, right? Mm. So as we play this through, we start by ducking that heart, right? They come back in spades. We can take our clubs just for fun because it can't hurt. We play the ace of hearts and we play the king of hearts, and we see they split. Fantastic, right? Now mm -hmm. we play the spade, and we see, oh, they don't split. And that's it. That's the moment right there that we were looking for. That's right. And, we and it okay. could have, am I right? That hint also could have happened with the hearts. That's right. That's right. The spades could have split, and the hearts could have not split. Cool. Either way, right? So cool. now, okay, we, we have to guess which way to play the diamonds. And we have this little piece of information, so we're going to do it. We're going to finesse this way, and it works. Mm. Right? We take our good heart. We take our good diamonds. Twelve tricks. Not an easy hand. Right? That is an awesome hand. Right. But we have ten tricks. Mm. We have three chances to get two more tricks. So we need two out of the three to work. A 3-3 three, three split here. A 3-3 three, three split there a successful finesse over here. And the key is ducking that first heart, giving us a chance to do all three before we commit ourselves to one or the other. Right. And delaying that two-way finesse until we have more information. You gotta find a clue that'll help us make the best guess. That's right.
Oh, thank you. What a cool hand. Yeah, I'm glad I could share that with you. Uh, for anyone watching, uh, we'll, we'll do our best to make a link where uh, hopefully you can play or at least even review the hand um, on your own. If you have a question about this hand, leave a comment below or um, you can always find Adam over at Bridge Winners. Is there, uh, does uh, Bridge Winners or is there another um, site that you'd recommend that might have a good lesson on two-way finesses or, um, you know, uh, related to what you led us through this hand? That's a great question. I'm sure that the Bridge Master uh, software that's within BridgeBase has some, some hands that deal with two-way finesses. Okay. Uh, there's there's certainly some articles about it. You know, if you just Google two-way finesse bridge, I'm sure you'll find something. Okay. All right. Well, we'll do our best, too, to see if we can include yeah, a link. Yeah, we'll 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 things if we find them. Mm. Oh, awesome hand. Thank you, Adam. You're welcome. Bye, everybody. Thanks, everyone, for joining. Till next time.